Hello everyone, due to a lot of questions on the French uh, forum, French website, etc. and on YouTube channel and by now, uh, between those two guys, the Pioneer DJ XDJ RX2 and the XDJ RR, or R, sorry, <laughs> I always say RR into the video of the RR, but it's RR, I know. I will do, I will uh, tell RR for this video. So. Um, I thought that it was very important to make a little compare between those two guys and I will uh, show you in this video, a very short video, to uh, look uh, after the size, the weight, the difference between them and the price and the function you can't find in the RR but you can find in the RX, uh, RX, RX2. And so with all these, all those informations, uh, you will be able to buy one of these or the other. So first, for the size, uh, we have. Um, I will tell. I will explain you in centimeters and in inch. So you will have 72 for this size and uh, 28 each inch, and you will have this one for 62. 10 uh, centimeters or um, I think it's four yeah four inch it's not very big it's not very small but for some people they would say it's a very big difference when you have when you want a portable um, portable uh, standalone portable uh, mixer and deck etc so this first size after you have this size you have uh, 44 centimeters or 17 inch um, and compared to the RR, you have um, 39 centimeters, 50, 15 inch. So it's not um, it's not a, a, a big step because you have just two inch between them. And the uh, this size is not very. You have 11, so uh, 4.3, and this size you have uh, 7 so 2.7 it's not it's very very little different but so with the weight you have uh, 9 kilograms so 20 pounds or you have 5 kilograms so uh, 11 pounds so there is uh, it is the big difference between them you have half pounds uh, half uh, kilograms be be between those uh, two guys. So it's very important if you need something very portable. It's very, it's more, the RR is more portable than the RX2. After the difference of price, you have more or less uh, 500 euros dollars between them. Uh, it will cost you 1,100 and near 1,006. Uh, 100 euros dollars so you have 500 dollars euros uh, of difference why those difference uh, why those difference of price you have a lot of functions you can find directly into your air or, or everything you will uh, everything I will say you will not see that on the or and everything I'm not saying in this video you will find for both so for example when you uh, when pioneer dj said that you have a big sc uh, color screen it's the same for both you will have the two usb port you can record you have all pads but just four pads and you have eight but you can jump into a secondary pad and you have of course eight four plus four so there is a lot of common functions and now we are going to see uh, together the difference uh, of those two guys for the functions. First, you will not have, have the reverse mode to reverse the music. You will not have that. You see, no reverse, no start break here. You have this, you have not here. No start, no break. You will not have the sleep mode. You know, the music continu continue underneath when you um, put some loops when you put some out cues when you make a break something like that when you make a scratch the music still play under with sleep mode you will not have no sleep mode here 
you don't have the same configuration for the navigation. You see here, you don't have uh, track filter or shortcut. The same navigation has a Nexus 2 or a XDJ 1000 uh, uh, back 2. So um, not the same navigation. So pretty the same navigation has an XDJ Air X1, but you have one thing uh, common that you can choose if you want a RVB, uh, LGB uh, waveform or a blue waveform and you have just to push on a menu a long push on menu like utd when you are directly into uh, the first uh, usb menu so uh, usb or playlist track etc when you push playlist um, you will have another uh, menu everything uh, everything i sell now you can see uh, it directly into the video of the XDG RR. So no same configuration for the navigation. You don't have a touch control on the screen of the RR. You can scroll directly into your track. You can, um, you can choose your keyboard to touch the letters to um, make a search. You don't have that. If you want to make a search, it's the same thing. You have to push browse longer and you choose the letter with your uh, you, with your knob here. Um, navigation is done. So um, you have no color, param uh, not, no parameter for color FX. You have color FX here. So you can't modify the um, resonance of the filter if you want, of the um, a bigger or smaller dub echo of the level of your noise you will have for example to um, move the level of your filter uh, of your noise you have to put your noise in another channel and move your trim control or your level control and you can um, move the level of your uh, noise and have a track if you want but you can't with this knob here you don't have it you have no channel input on the RR. You have a channel input for uh, both uh, channel 1, channel 2 here, uh, deck 1, line and phono. You don't have that here. The only way to uh, input something like, um, like a CD player or like uh, your phone or something like that, your smartphone, is to uh, go to the aux input here, the same as here. So you will have line input or portable input. So I think it's the same. So 12 dB plus 12 dB and level here. But no input directly on both channels for the RR. You have only three bit FX here. You have, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bit FX. On the LX uh, RX2, you have only three on the uh, R -R -R. so no um, less bit FX on the RR. But you have the same screen FX when you choose the FX, your bit, the bit of the FX, the channel, and the on-off. You have the same layer directly in the screen here. After you will have no booth output and I think it's the most when people um, said that oh there is a difference between uh, RX2 etc. Uh, it's a little one, it's a little brother etc. And the main subject was there is no booth, booth input. You have the master output here for both. You have STA and XLR. But you have a booth output in Jack C quarter for RX2. You don't have one on the RR. Um, so there's that's all, all the difference between all of uh, between those two guys. You have the same thing, like I said, for the pad. Uh, you have just pad in I don't know in English uh, caoutchouc, uh, like an MPC if you want. But la like that, you have plastic pad like uh, XDG RX1. You have the same FX, but you have eight pad for this and 
here you have to make shift fx to have the four the first four and the second four you have um, a little little uh, pitch than the rx2 but you can recon like the rx2 you have all over function like the rx2 um, to, uh, to manage uh, your, your mix so um, if you want to uh, make a decision to buy this one or this one like I said you have five hundred dollars euros difference by, uh, for, for between uh, those and you have all the function you don't have uh, directly into the RR to make your decision those function you don't need uh, if you don't need the function but you need less weight you have to go to the RR if you really need the function and it's not a problem for you the um, twice uh, weight it's not a problem you can take the RX2 if the price is not a problem for you you will be uh, like I said at 1100 and 1600 for this one so um, I hope you like this video to compare those two, uh, those two piece, pieces and if you have any questions feel free uh, directly under the, um, the video. Have a good day, have a good night, I don't know the time and uh, see you next content. Take care everyone.